Something brand new from the folks at Alien Gear Holsters. The Alien Gear Cloak Mod outside the waistband holster. And what you're looking at is actually the alien face that is on the back of the paddle. Upside down. Let's turn it over so it makes a little bit more sense. This is what the holster looks like when you wear it. This one is for the Walther PPS. And just so you know, if you have either the original or the new PPS, it fits both. I bought this holster because I got an offer to buy it from Alien Gear because I was a pre-existing customer, as many of you may be and may have also received. So I took a chance and I bought it. I think it was uh, 50 some odd dollars. I want to say maybe 56 bucks or something. Sounds about right. It does come with the paddle attachment already on it. If you want and you prefer the belt worn loop you can take the paddle off and you can put that on so you can have it either way you can also adjust the cant it comes with a straight drop configuration if you want it to cant up to 15 degrees you can do that as well basically to do that you would have to kind of disassemble the entire holster so I've worn this holster a few times. I haven't worn it a lot because I've only had it for a little while, but I've worn it out a few times and it is a good holster. It fits really well. It stays put. I'm, in, I'm impressed with how well this paddle stays put. Almost so that it's a little difficult to get on and off. You know, you sort of have to make sure your pants are good and loose to get that on and off, but it really does hold very well as long as you're wearing a decent belt that's got a little bit of support to it. I did not have any problems. I did some dry draws. The holster stayed put. It didn't move at all. Um, so that was really good, and I do like a paddle holster. There is retention in this holster. It is done by friction, and so it has to do with the molding. It has to do with the tightness of these screws, but it also has to do with a pretty neat system that they've got in here that has some flex to it. And I'm going to show you what that does. Right there. There's actually a metal, a very thin metal piece inside that flexes. And that provides extra tension and friction against your gun. But of course that doesn't touch your gun. What touches your gun is this rubber lining over the top of it on the inside portion of the holster. And I would equate it more to it's sort of like a neoprene or silicone type of quality. It's got a little bit of grippiness to it, which I like. So it's not Kydex, and it's not just sort of, you know, some kind of hard rubber. It's, it's got, a little bit of, uh, got a little bit of friction to it, which is good. And that helps with retention as well. Talked about the components of this thing a little bit, but basically the parts are the outer shell, the retention membrane is what they call this rubber piece on the inside, the steel flex plate, which is right behind that. Then you have a rigid nylon backer, which we see right here. And then you have the paddle attachment or the belt attachment, if you prefer that. Those are the basic components of the holster. I don't have extensive experience with Alien Gear holsters, but as I mentioned, I did get the offer to buy this because I was an existing customer, and that was because I had the traditional Alien Gear inside the waistband holster. So, a quick mention about the shell. If you're familiar with Alien Gears, you know that these shells are pretty much interchangeable throughout, throughout the entire holster line, which is one of the main advantages of, of Alien Gear. Well, they have kept that with this new cloak mod, so that this shell and this shell could be swapped. This inside the waistband holster is set up for a Smith & Wesson M&P shield. But if I wanted to wear the shield in the cloak mod, and I wanted to wear the Walther PPS in the inside the waistband, I simply swap these two outer shells. And if you want to order additional shells, you can do so very inexpensively from Alien Gear. 
that makes for a really nice and versatile system, especially for those of us who can't make up our mind what gun we want to carry week to week. All right, so there's my quick look at the new Alien Gear Holster Cloak Mod, it's called. It's an outside the waistband system. I like it. I think it has a lot of great qualities. It has a lot of promise, and it fits well, and it rides nice. This is one to look at, and it's relatively inexpensive.